Ladies and gentlemen, flippers and strippers, weird people who think birds aren't real. Hello and welcome to my channel. Where the bushes are crafty and the teddy bear is always plotting something. Today we are doing two things. We are reviewing a new knife by a super talented Israeli knife maker, Shaked Cohen, and we will be answering the one question my wife refuses to. Does size matter? Now, I personally am a manly man of many manlies, and as such my EDC knife is somewhat larger. Yeah, boobala. Now that is a knife. Pro tip, to save on weight, ditch the sheath, and like the chat that you are, put it in a row. That's right, just tuck it in by the pickles and the nickels, and then you know, don't take any large steps or make any sudden moves. Could be dangerous. Shaked, you see, went in a different direction. And instead of prepping for the zombie apocalypse, which will totally happen one day, he went for properties like compact, durable, lightweight. Yeah, that dude is way more responsible than me, that's for sure. Let's talk about the knife real fast. So this is 1080 steel, a G10 handle, a super awesome stabby clip point and a pretty high saber grind. It's not full flat but it's pretty high up there. So let me tell you, other than them uh, long freaky cuddles, this bad boy should care of most of your basic needs outdoors. Weight on this is 70 grams, that is 2 ounces for those colonials across the pond and it is 14 centimeters long with 6 centimeters blade length. I have no idea how much that is in inches and feet because I don't use my feet as a unit of measurement. Yeah, I'm weird that way. Now the first thing that you feel handling this knife is that the balance goes way towards the back of the handle. As you can see, this is a full, full tank knife and G10 can be rather heavy, so your center of weight and distribution is around... somewhere around here. Here, yeah. The handle is three fingers long and it is to be honest, it is really comfortable. I think I can actually hold it with four fingers, you know, but then you, you really need to choke up on it. This inner contour right here. First of all, you have the internal guard here, which is awesome. And the radius stops your fingers from moving too much in any direction. So this handle feels extremely safe and secure. Kudos to him on that. The one thing I would add here is a lanyard hole. You know, to add some cordage and to have something for my pinky to grab on. That way you can actually transform it into a four finger grab and that's awesome. But enough foreplay. We're here to cut things and order pizza and strippers. And I'm all out of money for pizza and strippers. So first thing first, is it sharp? Damn! Let's close it. Okay, damn! Dudes, listen up. This isn't just sharp. This... This is mansca manscaping sharp. Or at least it feels like it. And let me tell you, wow, yeah, you always want your gopher trimmed and pruned, because you never know, that Scoutmaster promotion could be just around the corner. Silky smooth, ready for OnlyFans. Okay then, so... 
we know it's sharp but let's see how it performs doing some proper outdoors tasks now something i often find myself doing outdoors is making wooden stakes both because i've watched enough buffy to know that vampires are scary and because these larger stakes tend to hold better than the smaller store-bought ones i can put them into the ground and they will remain in there in storms in high winds in pretty much everything as you can see the knife the blade performs great it removes material it is hard wood too i mean it's dry dry pine it's nothing to laugh about the three finger hold kind of make it wobbly you see because when I push with the knife, it goes a bit backwards. But that is to be expected with smaller knives. It's like with strippers, you see. You want to get a good hold on them, but you can't. Great job, to be honest. Especially for this is a six millimeter knife, you know, that's like awesome job. Some final sharpening here. Very nice. Some light betoning here. For the notch so this is full tank right so there shouldn't be any problem very nice i really need a bigger baton stick but i just can't be you know bothered to get up okay and now some material remover now she's getting there yep look this is solid seriously and on the cuts it goes through hard wood like a hot knife goes through a lost hitchhiker. Really nice. Really appreciative. Why don't I have a hitchhiker? I mean, they're out there somewhere, right? Pretty sure they are. Okay. We have a notch. Nice. How about some finer tasks feather sticking focus you evil camera wow this is great look at these curls i love it seriously getting a bit curly myself here if you know what i mean Damn. Check this out. Oh man, this would be great Tinder. Awesome. Stabbing. Damn. Tip test. No problem, seriously. I have no worries about this knife failing, whatever. Drilling. Check this out. If you've ever 
built a bow drill for fire starting. You know how annoying this can be, but look, I mean, effortless and the tip and the tip. Focus. Like new. Very nice. Nice. And again, this is a small knife. What about carving? Now there's a skill every bushcrafter needs to know to impress internet strangers, right? Let's do it. So obviously this is a blank of a cup I've made. It is not a very good one, that's why I kind of abuse it for reviews and such. Now our goal with this knife is to remove, to sort of flatten out this carving. To remove little material, little by little, until it's sort of flat. See this? Sticking out sort of. Yeah, we're flattening that. Nice. So obviously this isn't a carving knife, because it's, to be honest, it's pretty thick to be a carving knife. But because of its sharpness and its size, it is really comfortable for that. It's just the right size, I would say. It can actually do some decent carving. I mean, I wouldn't put it in my carving kit, but if I would have this outdoors with me, I would be very comfortable carving with it. As you can see, it does pretty awesome. Nice. But what about some harder wood? Also, if this is a question you hear often, please see a doctor or a sexy nurse or some Japanese cartoons or something, you know, just to get a hold of yourself. This here is fat wood. And all jokes aside, the resin in it makes it harder than a male cheer cheerleader during stretching exercises. Oh, yeah, no, focus, stupid camera, okay, so as you can see, no problem carving it, feathering, removing material, anything. This is great. Knife is performing excellent. More batoning, just for the fun of it. Check this out. The tiniest ever chopping test. Huh? 
Ajá. It worked. <laughs> yeah, this is not a chopper, dudes. It really isn't. Is it still sharp? Yep. I don't think it lost its edge at all. Man. Nothing. Damn it. I want this knife now. So edge retention. To be honest, I was kind of worried that maybe Shaked made it too brittle or not or too soft, but hardening is awesome here. Beautiful. So what do I think about this knife? This is the first knife of Shaked that I uh, review. And I am honestly very, very impressed. This knife, in my opinion, okay, it is gorgeous, okay? The, the handle is beautiful. The clip point is really well made. I, I swear I just want to have sex with this knife until my wife divorces me. Um, this would be a great little knife for anyone who wants to carry a fixed knife for EDC or for people like me who like to hike with gear that takes not a lot of space and does not weigh me down but that I can rely on it and I can actually do some bushcraft tasks with it because even when I go hiking I start a campfire I um, I carve things I um, cook on a rocket stove stuff like those the quality the heat treatment, the ergonomics on this are all extremely well done. The only thing lacking here is a sheath, but I mean, seriously, it's just, I didn't get one, but I'm sure he'll get to it. So that's not a, that's not anything negative to say about this. And uh, well, that lanyard hole that I would, I think that would improve the knife a lot. This is an excellent knife, it is functional, it is sturdy, It. I put it through some more abuse after the things that I've uh, filmed. I've batoned with it a bit more, I uh, kind of split wood with it, I, I even stuck it like, I split wood like in a stabbing motion and then, you know, like pried with it a bit. Um, this is the gift that keeps on giving. And I am very excited to see what Chaquette will come up with next. Because if this is his level right now, and he's a rather young gentleman, seriously, this he has a lot of potential ahead of him. So, very, very, very well done. And, well, it's a good knife.